everybody. Today we're going to be doing some work at the hunting club and we're in the Z950. We've got Nicholas on the C4600 pulling a bush hog. We got to get some bush hogging done and uh, we got to cross a bridge and a lot of mud pulling this uh, pull behind. We're going to see how the C4600 does doing some work. Oh yeah, no problem. There's a couple more bad spots, but it'll be all right. All right, so we got one more obstacle and it's a bridge that is not very stable. But we'll cross it and get to all the hunting land. Get up onto this bridge, which has been shifted from flooding. It used to go straight this way, but this big, huge pit, it's a drainage uh, where all the fields drain off into here, and it flooded one day, and this is a good, what you say it is, brother, about nine foot or 10, well, about eight to nine foot. Yeah, easy. Yeah. All right, hold on. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Looking good. Oh yeah, you got it whipped now. Easy. I'm about 85%. <laughs> 85%. 85% of of this bridge holding? Yeah. So we got one cross tie or light pole, if you will, on about a foot of ground. A foot of ground. And this side's okay. All right, we're gonna try to get this ranger across the bridge. Stay All right, well now, we can just concentrate on bush hogging. Anyways, let's get this 950 across this bridge.
this a wool check uh, how the temperature and and see how the belt engagement see how the clutch is see how everything holds up to putting that 600 under, under a load for a while we'll see how it does all right so we had some troubles with the bush hog the belt uh, is old and stretched out and it came off so we had to fix that real quick and uh, we're just on borrowed time hoping that it stays on and lets us finish these lanes here but we finished that little area back there where where we started at and uh, it's looking good the 600 is doing great low gear uh, well, it's, it's doing doing a good job man going to have some big trophy bucks coming through here soon <laughs> by the way uh, it's stock clutching and uh, those are 28 inch Maxxis Zillas from Main Street Cycle everything else on it is stock it's a 2021 C4 600 and as you know there's there's no changes for the 2022 models so the 2020, 2021, and 2022 model C4600 is all the same as far as performance and specs and all that goes. But it's doing good, doing good. Still one of the best looking ATVs off the showroom floor, hands down. I believe that, so. Um, I got the 950 part back up up there and we're just kind of walking and clearing these lanes with any uh low laying uh low hanging limbs and stuff so let me catch up and get back to work put this camera up doing good we just topped it off and uh nicholas has done this whole big lane and way back around the bend here and and he, out 70 miles. yeah and he still hadn't moved on this fuel so the fuel consumption is doing great and uh and the temperature's moving, good the temperature yeah. was only at one bar yeah this is what they said still that's right so no problems with cooling you're in four wheel drive did you know that well, it's doing good with big tires and pulling a bush high. It's still doing good, guys. So, anyways, I just I know we're having a work day today, and just wanted to uh, wanted to show y'all the capabilities of the C4 600 and uh, really all the CF Moto lineup. That if you're wanting to buy it for work and get some work done around the farm house whatever whatever property you have they'll do it so you know we use ours primarily for for uh recreational purposes and playing and just having a good time with family and friends and enjoying the outdoors but if you want it for multi-purpose reasons and justify your purchase it'll do it so anyways hope y'all enjoyed this we're gonna keep working god bless y'all as always remember to keep it real and we'll see you in the next one.